Hi, I'm Barbara D with Guarantee RV. Today I'm going to show you a Jayco J Flight 28 RLS. This is a 28 foot travel trailer that is a fiberglass siding. I'm going to start right here where we're at. One of the things that I want to point out right away is the fact that we have seven and a half gallon propane tanks on this. That gives you a lot of propane. You can be out there for quite some time on that amount of fuel. Also provides you a 3,000 pound tongue jack. So what that means to you is that the, the ball is going to be raised up, or the, uh, the connection for the ball can be raised by just a touch of a button, and you have a lighted uh, tongue jack. So you can see what's going on. A lot of times you're loading up in the morning, early in the morning to go, last thing in the evening when you're coming home. So that's something to keep in mind. They've got some diamond plating on the front of this to keep it, any uh, rocks from you know, dinging up the exterior. And again, you've got a light out here that makes it super handy. I'm gonna come around here and kind of squeeze between it. So we're gonna take a look at the unit just as it sits here. And I'm gonna walk through and show you a couple of things. So we have frameless windows that are tinted. They're UV tinted, rather, relatively dark. So in the daytime, no one can see through there. You've got large storage compartments that go all the way across the unit. You can get a nice lawn chair in there or a utility table. That makes it really convenient for you. It keeps the stuff out of the bed of the truck or in the, under the canopy in the bed of the truck. And you'll, you'll need, a, you'll need a, a vehicle that can, can tow. Maybe a, I don't think that you can tow this with a half ton. I think you're going to have to have a, a, a three quarter ton, a 250 or better, 2500, whatever the case may be. You do have electric stabilizing jacks. So what that means is when you get to where you're going, you can push this button the jacks will come down and the trailer won't move back and forth. It just stabilizes the floor for you. And two doors. So you've got a door here. This would go into the master bedroom and I'll show you that in just a little bit. Um, the awning extends all the way down and over the primary entrance of the vehicle. You are looking at uh, dual axles with a, they're running a 175 R15s on this. Uh, here's your potable water. This is the uh, the hot water heater. What's nice about this is you've got outdoor speakers. You've got a nice electric awning that's large. That helps you capture the outside space, set up a table, a couple of chairs, kick back and relax. So let's go in and take a peek at this. It is a thermal package as well. So a thermal package means that the bottom, the underbelly of the RV is enclosed and that there is some heat that is being distributed around the holding tanks. That would be the fresh water tank, the gray water tank, which is your soapy water, and the black tank, which is out of the bathroom. And then it's also got a solar plug and play. So if you wanna go up to Crescent Lake or someplace where you may not have, or wiki up, you may not have uh, power, you can keep your batteries hot. So it's something to think about. A grab handle, that's always handy. You're often carrying something in or out of the RV. Three steps, come on in and take a look at this. It's a nice unit. The reason we call this a 28 RLS is it's a rear lounge with a slide. It's 28 feet with the rear lounge and a slide. I am very, very fond of the big windows in the back because after years and years and years of RVing, a lot of times you back into the view. That's the river. That is the ski hill. That is the ocean. The view is in the back many, many times. It's got a little, uh, little coffee table here in between, an outlet, so if you want to play your games or something like that. And these, these chairs are recliners, and I don't think there's anything special to uh, getting them to recline. I think you just kind of slide back. And if I pulled them forward, because they are freestanding, you could even, well, you could take them outside if you wanted to dare to, but you can kick back here pretty easily very comfortably. Um, you have the sofa, and this sofa also makes down into a trifold bed. So let me show you how that works. Very easily. This is soft fabric. It's uh, stain resistant, uh, very easily maintained. Just really, it's a nice trailer. It's a very nice trailer. So this folds out like this. You hold this up here. Pull these legs out and push that back a little bit. 
fold that down, flip this over. And again, this is an aluminum frame, so it's gonna last a long, long time. You can push these cushions back on there. And now you've got a really nice, comfortable place for yourself. If you wanna kick back and watch a movie or if you wanna lie down out here instead of in the bedroom. And it's a nice guest bed. It seems like when you have a nice trailer like this, somebody always wants to go with. My sister always said, oh, you're going camp? Can I go too? And of course I said, yes. So uh, you've got the recliners, you've got that beautiful view. You've got this nice sofa that will make down into a guest bed or an extra bed. If someone's ready to hit the hay and you're not, well, you can relax out here and enjoy the, a little quiet time on your own. And it slips down in there just that easy. I really like that feature because that bed, once you get it folded out, is super comfortable. It's, uh, it's soft. You don't feel any stress from underneath it. It just makes it really nice. Let's do this right. There we are. Okay, so now we also have a dinette. What I want to point out about this dinette is the freestanding table. So this table will pull out completely, which means that you do not have to haul a table with you to put out underneath the awning. You can use this table out there. The legs fold down on it, it becomes very compact. And when I'll show you that, they fold down to the side. This is also the centerpiece when you want to make it into a bed. And you've got storage under here. And I think it's a neat idea that they put some tubs underneath there so you're not having to fiddle around and figure out what's all the way in the back or ask someone to get up off the settee. And if you want to, you can access it from the top. So you've got a lot of thought that went into the features and benefits that they, they built with this trailer. And again, that's Jayco. Jayco is a, a fine manufacturer. They've been building RVs for a very long time and they are aware of what RVers need and want during the journey. So let's look at this kitchen real quick. We've got offset lighting up here. We've got shelving in the cabinets for your dishes and flatware. It's got a nice sink in it. It's got a, an extendable spradius so you can clean out a, a, you know, if you're making chili or spaghetti or fried chicken, whatever the case may be, you have a way of getting those things cleaned up. You can reclaim the countertop with this cover. You've got some drawers here, very nice drawers and um, they're on ball bearing glides and again i want to point out the construction the the materials that they're using when they're building this are of high quality so this goes all the way down you also have this which is you know that that i would not that's probably not the best feature it has it does have a super nice three burner stove an oven a microwave a beautiful nor cold refrigerator so Norcold has been building uh, refrigerators forever and they have that polar bear on them because even though it's about 100 degrees out today, this bottom of this freezer is cold. I mean cold, cold, cold to the touch. So I'm a believer in Norcold. I think they are one of the finest brands out there and I'm proud to say that Jayco uses them as a standard component. You've got a great pantry here. So there's a place for your canned goods, a place down on the bottom where you could put a bag of uh, potatoes or some other larger items. The TV is adjustable. It's going to come out here like this and move around. If you want to watch it at the table, sit here at the table and watch it. If you want to watch it out in the other part of the room, just, just things like that where it's really thinking ahead for the, again, you the RVer. You the RVer is what's important here. So you have a good experience. And when you come home, you're like, wow, I want to go and do that again. That was really, really great. Get some storage for some CDs, some other media devices here, a control panel. And then we come to the bathroom. So what I'm seeing in this bathroom is some really nice stuff. First of all, I want to point out porcelain toilet, not plastic. You've got a really nice shower here. So I'm going to step into this shower. There's plenty of room in here to move around. If I was taller, I, the skylight would accommodate me. It's got a nice shower head on it. It's just a really nice setup. 
again, thoughtful, thinking about your experience in the RV. Place to hang a towel or a robe, a hand towel, a basin, a nice large uh, medicine cabinet, a place for your towels. And again, there's the shelves. So many times people look at other entry level units and they don't have the shelving. They, it's, you know, hey babe, can you put a shelf in the closet for me? <laughs> and of course, you know, that's not, it. that's not an impossibility, but it's nice if it's already done for you. And our bedroom. So we've got cross ventilation here. And again, I wanted to point out the tinted windows on the outside are really nice. You don't have to fiddle around with them. You don't have to service them every year, but you can bring this blind up. This window opens up very easily, just to turn. We've got a charging station here. Great garment closets on each side. Storage up above, so when the things you put up there, your sweatshirts, your jeans, and things of this sort, stay where you put them. And then again, great storage under the bed. And you notice when I lift that up, I'm hands-free here. So anytime you're putting something in here or taking something out, it's very nice to have these gas shocks hold it open for you. And a nice mattress. A nice thick mattress that feels good. You're not gonna, you'll get a good night's sleep on this. It'll feel good and you'll wake up refreshed and ready to do it one more day. And then we've got this back door. So you have an access to the outside through the bedroom and through the door that we came in originally. Come on out and take a look at this unit. This is a 217 model. It has uh, some tremendous value that you can take advantage of. And it's a very, very nice trailer. My name is Barbara D. I work at Guarantee RV in Junction City. My phone number is 541-521-4232. Come out and say hi. Take a look at it. Thank you.